Walk Miller's Monsters, and we're going to go through some more movie stars that got their start in low-budget horror films, and uh, we'll start things off, and yes, I'm finally going to get to the one everybody's been asking for. Nice. Thank you. Um, all right, so let's start things off with uh, Vigo Mortensen, and uh, he played Tex in Leatherface, the Texas Chainsaw Massacre 3. And uh, he did some pretty nasty things to the final girl in this film. Uh, he uh, took nails and hammered her hands to a chair, put the nails through her hands to the chair, and he threatens threatens her with rape by Leatherface. Um, then we have Christopher Lloyd in Schizoid, and uh, in this one, I haven't seen this one, I did see Leatherface. Um, Lloyd, Lloyd played a uh, creepy handyman named Gilbert, let go of my finger, attending group therapy, and um, all of a sudden, uh, the patients find themselves stalked by a scissor-wielding slasher. And uh, this was, he did star in uh, One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest before he did this. So this was considered a uh, step back for Christopher Lloyd. And uh, I don't, it wasn't well received either. And that will bring us to, scroll, 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 John, John, John Travolta in The Devil's Reign. And, um... Obviously, this is before he, he hit it big in the movies with Grease and Saturday Night Fever. We all know him um, as uh, Vinny in Welcome Back, Carter. I believe that was his name. Going straight off of memory on that. Um, but uh, this one had a star-studded cast. This one's from 1975, starred William Shatner. And uh, also had... Uh, uh, Ernest Borgnine, Tom Skerritt, I don't know, Ida Lupino, and uh, the founder of Sat Satanism himself was a technical advisor on this film. I may have to check that one out, even though uh, it's another one that uh, really didn't get good reviews. Uh, then there was Kiera Knightley in The Hole, and... Um, you know, I'll know Kiera Knightley from Pirates of the Caribbean. She like she plays a lot of period pieces, and um, I just love her in, in uh, Pirates of the Caribbean. But she was in uh, The Hole, and this is four teenagers at a British private school secretly uncover and explore the depths of a sealed underground hole created decades ago as a possible bomb shelter. And uh, I haven't seen this one as well, so I can't comment on what goes on there. But she played Frankie in this film. And, and this I did not know. And um, Bill Paxton got his first role in a low-budget horror film called The Mortuary. And uh, this is from 1983. And he plays a, uh, a uh, uh, embalmer. For the local mortuary, and uh, he is also stalking Mary Beth McDonough in this film. So there you have. Oh, I almost forgot the one everybody's been wanting me to say. Johnny Depp got his start in uh, Nightmare on Elm Street, and it's one of the most iconic uh, deaths for my money in that series, where uh, you know he's laying on blood on the on the bed and uh, gets sucked down and blended and then all the blood rushes out so of course I really enjoyed that because all the blood rushing out and hitting the ceiling so uh, there you have it some more famous actors that got their start in low budget horror films <laughs> 